If you could describe your post-baby period in one word, what would it be? Uh, messy. Oh, yeah! Disaster. Crime scene. What did you wear to prepare for it? Nothing, I didn't know it was coming. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Super old school. The cat. Yeah, like a canoe. Like that's, and then you wear two. Yeah. Ah, oh, pregnancy. The precious time when your body grows a baby and your period goes on vacay. But what happens when the baby comes and your period's back to business as usual? What's up, ladies? I'm Madge the Veg, and today we're getting all the info on your post-baby flow. What do you think these babies are? I mean, they look like underwear. Well, they are, but they're more than just underwear. You can wear things in place of a tampon or pad, or in addition to, if it's like a super soaker down there, you got this for extra backup. You want to feel them? Sure. Don't worry, I haven't worn them yet. <laughs> they are super absorbent, antibacterial lining, and have a leak-proof barrier. Can you imagine in one panty? Where does it go? On your body! <laughs> Ellen, you put them on! So, we're talking about not just periods, but post-baby periods. Totally different. What the heck about my hole? Now that I've had a baby, do I have to like, you know, upgrade all my feminine products to XXL? You don't need to upgrade the size, but you are likely going to need a higher absorbency um, during the first few periods, whether you're using tampons, pads, or any other absorbable um, feminine product. Well, what if I've had like an episiotomy or something? Can I still use a tampon or? You can. Um, it might be a little sore at first because the tissue is still healing and your estrogen levels drop significantly after you deliver, which can make the vagina dry for the first couple of months. Some of the absorbable underwear is another option. And I think more active people would prefer something that allows them to be free and not feel like they're being constricted with a pad. Will it be the same like it was before? Will it be on schedule? Or is this gonna be like playing a game of chance or throwing darts and not knowing what you're gonna get? So it can be different than what you had before you got pregnant. The first one is gonna be different no matter what. It's most likely gonna be heavier because... Like Niagara Falls? The first one could be. Especially with the first pregnancy, your uterus is used to being about the size of my fist. Uh -huh. When you have a baby, your uterus is about up here, like right underneath your ribs. So it has to contract down, but until it fully contracts down, which can even take up to five to six weeks, the cavity where your lining is, is bigger than it used to be. So there's gonna be more tissue there to come out. So it doesn't ease you in. It wants to party like it's 1999. Again, if you are breastfeeding, you're less likely to be ovulating. You could have periods each month, or they might skip a month or two, and that's not necessarily because you're ovulating, but it could be what we call anovulatory cycles. The lining's still getting a little bit thicker, or it's just intermittent spotting. That can happen, especially if you're breastfeeding. If you're not breastfeeding, usually your period comes back within about two to three months. It's probably gonna come every month after that, if your periods before pregnancy were regular. If you had a history of skipping months at a time, they can still skip months at a time. There you have it. Well, hopefully not yet. <laughs> the upside, you have a beautiful baby and your period to boot. Thankfully, you have options for your post-baby period. And maybe now you won't have to think about it so hard. I'm Madge the Vag. If you have any questions or comments, put them in my box. My inbox, that is. To what's up? I'm Madge the Vag. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click to watch more and don't forget to subscribe.